If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and don't forget to click that bell for daily Dragon Ball Fairy Tale and other anime contacts. One thing you guys don't realize is just how powerful Lucy Harfile is. If you ask any other Fairy Tale fans out there, they'll say she's hardly in the top 10 when it comes to female and she's hardly inside the top 20 when it comes to overall. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how strong Lucy Hartfield really is and what is it that makes her so strong. I'm going to try my best to be as accurate as I can to show you Lucy's power skill and everything and go through all the changes that she had. But when it comes to Lucy Hartfield, yeah, one thing that we all know is that she is by far the strongest celestial wizard to ever have the power of a celestial wizard. She is the only wizard who's able to summon the celestial king. And one thing that makes Lucy so amazing is the fact that she's able to summon more than one spirit at a time. Right here is going to be the graphical sh preview. I'm going to show you exactly just how strong has Lucy has gotten over the years. And we're going to talk about the development that she had. When Lucy Hartfield first joined Fairy Tail, I'll say her power level scale is exactly right here. This is where Lucy started off because she was new to the magic world and everything. She only started off with one golden gate keys which was passed down from her mother Layla Hartfilia. And then from there Lucy has went to adventures after adventures with Natsu and Urza and everyone else and therefore she had the power to get stronger. One thing that makes Lucy amazing is her strive to get stronger. Her goal is to protect her friends and her loved ones is the thing that pushes her to get stronger and stronger. Now everybody's gonna say that when you're fighting Lucy she just depends on her key is the reason why she's not that strong. But one thing you gotta look at is that is what makes Lucy Harfilia so strong. As you see right here, her power level is increasing day by day. Lucy Harfilia is, if you fight her, you have to fight her spirit. She has very powerful spirit like Aquarius. She has Loki who is the strongest spirit. You're not just fighting Lucy, you're fighting her spirit. And her spirit will give you a hard time. Now if you look right here, Lucy Harfilia after the time gap that she had, the time skip from the Tandor Island arc and she had time to train for the Grand Magic Tournament, her power level scale has jumped from here to right here. This is where Lucy was able to use more than one summoning at a time. She, we saw that inside the Grand Magic Tournament, Lucy Harfilia was able to summon 5 spirit at one time and she was able to use a very very powerful magic during that time inside a Tartarus arc called Ultimate Magic of the Star. This magic is pretty much all the 88 constellation of the sky come down as a sphere and bestow their power upon the caster. The person then aims at their intended target and releases the energy gathered into a tremendous attack. It is so strong that we've seen she was able to use this power to defeat Jackal in his Etherness demon form inside the Tatris arc. And because of that, as Lucy got time to train and get stronger, her power from the Grand Magic Tournament went from here to here. As you can see, her power level is increasing gradually. And then from the Tartarus arc, we've seen that Lucy Harfilia is no longer able to just rely on her spirit. She has learned one magic which made her really strong. It's called the Star Dress. After the year gap inside the Tartarus arc, we've seen that inside the Avatar arc, Lucy Harfilia's parallel went from here to here, all thanks to this magic that she has obtained called the Star Dress. The Star Dress is actually a Celestial Magic in which the user incorporates the power of a Celestial Spirit into their body by placing the key of the Spirit in a question on their chest. The power manifests itself in a form of a wardrobe change, similar to a Requip. In this case, in a form of a dress centered around the Spirit in the question on wardrobe. Allowing the user to adopt the power and appearance of the Spirit they chose, they are also able to adapt a portion of their power being able to make use of their own magic. And because of this, Lucy Harfila was able to summon any of her spirit and use their power as herself. So pretty much, she first started off at using her keys to now she's able to summon her spirit and use her spirit's power inside herself, making her physical strength as strong as their spirit is. As Lucy had time to practice this magic over and over again, we see now inside a new fatal arc called the 100 Year Quest, Lucy's magic final power is right here inside the scale. So as you see from here, she started off from the beginning from here to now here. And that's because she's able to use the power called the Star Dress. When Lucy Arfili has the Star Dress, she is able to use her spirit's power. The newest Star Dress that she was able to use is called the Loki Dress, where she possessed Loki's power and she's as strong as Loki, so therefore she could fight anyone in a hand-to-hand -hand combat fight and able to win. This right here gave her a huge power up to make her really strong 
It's the reason why I believe Lucy Hartfield deserves to be known as the top 5 strongest female character inside Fairy Tail. This right here shows you that how strong Lucy is. Now of course if you compare Lucy to the strongest female character Urza Scarlet, Urza Scarlet is going to be right here and Lucy's right here. But one thing about Lucy is that she's continued to progress to get stronger and stronger. It's the reason why I have to give credit to Lucy. And this probably will help you guys realize exactly how strong Lucy is. She is definitely not a top 20 character. And when it comes to overall fairy tale, she's top 10. And when it comes to female, she's definitely top 5. Correct me if I'm wrong, if I made any mistake inside this list, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. But according to Hiro Meshima, he said Lucy is definitely known to be the top 5 strongest female character when it comes to fairy tale and his plans to make her even stronger because she is his favorite character at the end of the day. I try my best to be as accurate as I can. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you guys think? And now, do you guys understand the power of Lucy Harfilia? I think one thing we all should not forget is she's able to summon the Celestial King. He is known to be the strongest spirit of all time. If there's anything you guys like this video or talk about, please drop me a like. That'll be amazing. If you enjoyed my gila by subscribing, please do so. I'm gonna appreciate. I'm Goku T23. Have an insane day, my fairy fans. <laughs>